Hi to everybody and welcome back to OptoTube channel, the first Italian optometry YouTube channel. Today we are gonna talk about specular reflection, another slip lamp illumination technique, but I think that is an advanced kind of technique, uh, both in evaluation, both in performing and observation phase. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire! Generally, this technique is used to evaluate tear film dynamics and corneal endothelium. This technique seems to be similar to parallel pipettes, but differs from it by the angle between illumination and observation system. In the parallel pipette, the observation system is in the primary position and the illumination system form an angle between 30 to 60 degrees. But in specular reflection, both illumination and observation system form each one an angle of 30 degrees from the normal line which passes from the tangential plane to the corneal surface. So in this way incident and reflected rays have the same angle from normal line and uh, reflection plane and this make possible the physical phenomenon called specular reflection so this is the reason why this technique is named specular reflection to perform a specular reflection we have to use uh, mid or eye illumination mid sides of the slit high magnification almost 40 times and an angle of 30 degrees for illumination and observation system from the normal line. We have to start from parallel pipette and we can notice as uh, in uh, optics section a bright spotlight. Well, we have to move our slit to the bright spotlight and overlap the slit to the spotlight. At this point we have to make some lateral movement, very little movement by our joystick and we will have two observational possibilities. The first is to observe tear film dynamics and seeing tear film movement at every blink we can see also the interferential pattern on the lateral side. The second possibility is to study the cells morphology of the corneal endothelium and they are and they are on setting also because this kind of cells cannot regenerate itself and they are the first group of cells which suffer in case of uh, hypoxia when no much oxygen arrives to tissues. A little important particular is that we have to perform this technique in a monocular way to have a better observation of the corneal structures. After all this is a very powerful technique and a very useful instrument that we can use in a contact lens practice. So also for this video is finished, I hope you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe of the channel and to visit my Facebook page, Instagram page and my merchandising on Spreadsheet. Let's see to the next video of the style.